Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brad Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680. Or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. What I'm going to talk about is what not to buy. I'm going to start off as I'm going to build one Amberola 30 out of two machines. But if you're out looking for a phonograph, you need to pay close attention on this. First, we're going to talk about the top of the lid of this one. This is made out of pine. Someone did some home repairs all the way around. It's cracking through here. And my angel can look inside. Back in here we have these cracks. It's separation. We also have mass quantities of boar woodworms eating away at the machine. This is broken. And then somebody in its life, this, this is what your spidey sense comes up to. Why is the horn painted gold? And why is the crank painted gold? This means that somebody's been into the machine. Amberol 30s, like this one, are always black. This one has the right grill on top, but it has the wrong front. This machine has no top grill and no front grill. The other problem is, when you look at Amberola 30s, and I talk about the reproducer is frozen into the carriage. This black piece here is the carriage. This pop metal reproducer, and they're all pop metal, is frozen in. This one, on the other hand, is not frozen in and slides out. So you can switch the two because all these parts are interchangeable. But when you're looking at a phonograph and you get in there and you're looking maybe your first phonograph, don't get excited. Take a look and say, oh, it's a beautiful phonograph, but what's missing and what's wrong? Right here, you can see the difference of the tops of the lids. Seriously, this is just the parts machine, but don't get excited. You know, I have customers, they come in, oh, buy quality. If you go to an antique store and you go, oh, this is $250, that's a really good deal. This is a terrible deal for this photograph. $250 for this, eh, it's still a little high for an Amberol 30 missing the parts, the lift lever and everything else, because you have to go buy those parts. I'm just trying to explain buy quality machines. You don't need a hundred machines. You need one really nice phonograph that you like. Do what you love on this in this hobby, but watch out what you buy. Always make sure that they crank up and run. Make sure everything is there. I preach this all the time, and that's my tip for the day.